Hey guys, welcome to our channel. If you're watching this video, you probably have big goals and aspirations. For us, these goals include advancing in our careers, finances, and health and fitness. Gains life. And guys, we know it's hard to balance everything. So today, we're going to talk about productivity hacks that work for us. Stay tuned. Let's see what John's doing. Hello, Mrs. Jones? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, Brian has an appointment tomorrow at 1 p.m. Just a cleaning exam. Okay, we'll see you then. Goodbye. Hey, dog, what are you doing? Just doing five things at once. Why? Because today, we're going to be productive. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Yeah, that was a good one. Aha, welcome back to another episode of J Bro. If you're new here, my name is Jason. My name is John. We're two guys living in New York City and we talk about life. Life. We talk about life. And today we're talking about something that we think applies to everybody. Which is productivity. How do you stay productive? How do you balance three jobs plus being an amazing person? <laughs> oh. And being a great friend. I am all of those and more. Just to start off, what does it mean to you to be productive? I think the reason so many people are obsessed with productivity is that I don't think there's ever been, historically, ever been a time where there are more opportunities than now. That's very true. That's very true. Access to information. Mm -hmm. Barring any crazy circumstances, mm -hmm. you can make it if you try. Yeah. To be productive and channel your energy in the right way mm -hmm. can lead to incredible, incredible results. Incredible success, yeah. And an extraordinary life. And sure. I want to maximize on that. Productivity is something that I've, I'm consciously working on mm -hmm. and it's something that I've been obsessed with. Since when? Since, I say since dental school, actually. I see. Like you and like many people watching, I have many interests outside of my main profession. I'm interested in dating, yeah. in uh, personal training, in fitness, mm -hmm. diet, a lot of things, business, mm -hmm. investing, investing as a, as yeah, a umbrella yeah. topic. Making money. Right. Yeah. So making money and trying to maximize my life. In the same amount of time that's given to everybody else, how can I maximize that and squeeze every ounce mm -hmm. of every minute? An exceptional goal will require exceptional routine. Mm -hmm. I digest that from the get-go. So mm -hmm. I've tried to identify where I can be most more productive, yeah. where I can eliminate inefficiencies, mm -hmm. and all the time and energy I invested yeah. is finally coming to fruition. So what are the things that you did to get to where you're right now? Obviously, you have very good education. You went to Duke University and you got your DMD from Columbia Dental. And that takes a certain level of ambition and drive. Do you feel like you're always like that or are you sort of, you have a different mindset now that you're older? Definitely embedded from childhood. Mm -hmm. I was born in Korea. My parents wanted my older brother and me to have an education, a shot at an American education. Mm -hmm. It was the dream, yeah. the American dream. So at nine years old was when we were supposed to move back with my father because his job, had, his contract had ended here. Mm -hmm. But to a nine-year-old and to a 13-year-old, my brother, this was our home now. Yeah. We identified as being American. We begged our parents to stay here that we would study. Wow. And my, my dad made the decision to move back to Korea by himself and work. Yeah. And my mom stayed behind with us. That's called a kirogi. When, we never knew when our dad would be able to come back and live under the same household as us. Mm -hmm. The day of my high school graduation was when he came back. Wow. So for 10 years, my parents did long distance. And during that time was when my older brother, who was very mature at his age, uh, told, reminded me constantly, if you don't work hard, you're not making their sacrifice worthwhile. So on days that I didn't feel like studying hard, yeah. like doing my job, he said, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta about it. get out of your Hey guys, take a seat. Because I want to introduce a sponsor of this video, Grammarly. Much like there are strategies for being more productive, there are also tools that can improve your efficiency, including daily tasks such as writing. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that helps me communicate more effectively by enhancing my overall tone, conciseness, and clarity. I use Grammarly Premium for my never-ending emails and professional documents. Having this digital writing assistant eliminates any errors. 
and improves my writing. As you can see, Grammarly's clarity suggestions thoroughly evaluates my writing and offers helpful suggestions to polish my language. Grammarly's vocabulary suggestions expand my word bank as I tend to use the same words repeatedly. Grammarly even gives you feedback on your tone with their tone detector. Is your tone friendly? Is your tone confident? You can download Grammarly as an extension on Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Word documents such as Microsoft Office and Google Docs. For a limited time, you can sign up for a free account and get 20% off your Grammarly Premium using our link in the description. Thank you for staying tuned and get Grammarly now. So that was more of an extrinsic motivator for me to work hard. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, I can't live my whole life thinking, oh, I need to make from outside motivation. Yeah. My parents are proud. Yeah. Now I've internalized that to say, hey, I have an opportunity to work hard. Yeah. Any um, project that I undertake or any goal that I have, if I feel unmotivated or unproductive, I train my mind to say, hey, this is an opportunity. It's a chance for you to make something of it. Mm -hmm. And I never think of it as like, you have to do this because there's so much negative energy associated to having to do stuff. Yeah. It's like a boss telling you to do something. Mm -hmm. You don't like doing it. Of course. Um, having taken that approach, I think is single-handedly the biggest motivator for me to be productive. Mm -hmm. It's more of a mindset of yeah. how I treat my day. Mm -hmm. Every strategy of being more productive, yeah. like logistically, just helps me achieve that goal. What do, would you have to say for people who may not have that sort of upbringing? It's a good question. That was something that was present at my early age, mm -hmm. but like I said, it's not something that drives me now. Yeah. I can guarantee that there are many people who would love to be where you are right now mm -hmm. with the opportunities that you have been afforded. Mm -hmm. When I explain it this way to my high school students that I tutor or uh, my personal training uh, clients mm -hmm. who have the ability to do it but haven't unleashed their potential, if you want to do it, you can do it. Right? It's just a matter of having a routine to do it and a discipline. So a lot of people have and these awesome ambitions but not the uh, not the kind of like rigorous schedule that is required to achieve those goals. For me, like fear drives me. Fear of not being able to finish it. Fear of letting other people down. It's a big uh, thing that drives me. The reason why it took me such a long time to do PhD. Yeah. For where like making videos and stuff. Yeah. Like I just get it done. Right. Or like startup stuff, I just get it done because like there are people that's relying on on me to deliver. I see. Yeah. I see. So what kind of hacks and tips that you have? The first thing I would say is take a good look at your schedule mm -hmm. and see how you're spending your time. Yeah. That's the most obvious thing. I'm cool. not going to harp on that because everybody everybody knows that. No, but no, not everyone knows that. People think that they're being productive, yeah. but just as people think like they're like eating well, mm, in reality they're not. I see. Because they don't take a hard look at uh, their daily habits or their eating habits. Mm, okay. Yeah. So yeah, the first thing is an evaluation, yeah. right? In order to diagnose an area of improvement, mm -hmm you need to know exactly what you can fix. Yeah, yeah. And there are certain things worth fixing, mm -hmm. certain things not. Eliminate inefficiencies. Know where you're creating time suck. Mm -hmm. For me, that used to be just scrolling through... Uh, Instagram, like, web pages. Face, face, Facebook. Facebook. I used to scroll through Facebook a lot. Yeah. When I identify that, I immediately know, oh shoot, you're on that time suck right now. I have an action plan when I do that. What is it? I have default tasks that I tend to when I know I'm time sucking. That doesn't require me to be in total work mode, mm -hmm. but it's more of like a mindless errand. I see. For example, vacuuming. I see. Doing uh, errands, uh, even even reaching out to my parents. Yeah. I think those things are high level of importance than sitting down, lounging exactly. around. And so you, you transfer your energy into those like chores just exactly. to get your mindset into a habit. Right, right. I cut that inefficiency and, mm -hmm. and wash the dishes. Yeah. Because Jason spends a lot of time cooking, I don't want to be dead weight in the kitchen. So I'll run upstairs, I'll, I'll, I'll clean the dishes. That kind of habit can carve out a lot of time. I compartmentalize my day mm -hmm. so that I'm not doing one task for like 16 hours. Mm -hmm. I would burn out. It's very impressive for people to do. Van Gogh does it, but that's Van artists, Gogh. artists. Artists, I think do artists, yeah. artists do that 10,000, you know, 10,000 hour mastery. And there's also this quote that uh, when artists step into their zone, mm. it's like they're leaving their body. Uh, to, something else takes over. Yeah. But for, for most people who are just trying to get through the day, right. they're not thinking like that. So yeah, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you can grind for 15, 16 hours at a time, that's, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Amazing. Use that yeah, to your yeah, advantage. Yeah. But I can't do that. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll say, hey, I need to knock out some editing. I need to, get, I need to figure out some of the startup clinic. And mm -hmm. if I'm able to 
shift things around based on what I'm interested in, in at the time mm -hmm. or I'm most productive in, yeah. I'll prioritize what I want to do at first. Mm -hmm. By compartmentalizing, I can bounce around from interest to interest. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of me talking. <laughs> yeah, but... I get excited about this topic. No, no, I see that you definitely have a passion for it and you want to share it with our viewers. So for, let me ask you though, I mean, I, I live with you, so I know how you work. If you guys have seen a day in the life vlog of Jason, his days are also varied, mm -hmm. structured in a way that's productive in different aspects. Yeah. So how do you balance your PhD work with your startup with your personal stuff that you seem to prioritize more? So for me, I never had this like upbringing where like you gotta get things done. My parents were more lenient and relaxed. Uh, so it wasn't until like sort of later in life that I realized that, oh shoot, I gotta get on top of my <laughs> uh, like S. When was that? This was like, you know, like after college, to be mm -hmm. honest. What fueled you to want to achieve more? Internally, I want to accomplish a lot of things, but I realized I don't have the kind of work ethic uh, to okay. push me to make my dreams into reality. Gotcha. And, and that's when I realized, like, oh, I gotta let, let my pride down and just follow how successful people do it. Like looking at you and looking at like people around me who are very driven and motivated, I pick up like little lifestyle habits and now I'm at a point I think no matter what, if there's things that needs to be done, put a deadline on it and just nice. get through it. Nice. And only way to do that is like, hey, today I'm gonna do this because I have a deadline here. So you create a mental list? Yeah. Because the way my PhD works is that you have to be working every single day in order to progress because oh, I see. your writing, your research doesn't develop like just, just like you that. You can't procrastinate. Yeah. You, you could. I mean, a lot of people do. Uh, and because there's a high barrier to taking initiative, because it's such a mentally draining true. and demanding task. True. Um, you really have to force yourself like... It's so how do you overcome that? I think this is something that you mentioned earlier today, which wasn't part of the film. Uh, it's the five minute rule. So, so five minute rule is where you drop everything, right? Whatever ineffective things that you were doing. You tell yourself, I'm gonna just get out of my funk and sit down or get up and do whatever I need to do and start it for five minutes and uh -huh. try to finish that five minute. It's like that It's like that gym model. First step to success is like entering the gym. That's the huge, that's the biggest barrier. And then you realize, oh. This is not bad. So the first step is taking that step. Yeah. And then if it's absolutely dragging your feet mm -hmm. across for that five minutes, then maybe that's not the time for that. Yeah. Like video editing. Right. That's a huge example. <laughs> it's like you're exhausted and like, I have a deadline. Right. So normally we video edit after everything is finished. Mm -hmm. So that's typically around 10 p.m. If you guys watch our Instagram stories, we're video editing from like 10 p.m. to sometimes yeah. like 2 a.m. Another another hack is that when you know that the task is difficult, yeah. do it when you have the most energy. <laughs> to be honest, video editing is like daunting. So I always have it in mind like, Oh, I'm not gonna do it later in the day, at least for me. So I just like... Oh, wait, but that's, that contradicts what I just said. No, no, but for you it does, it makes oh, sense. Oh, I see. That self-discipline is not there when you're tired. I try to get the most difficult things done when I'm like fresh. I see. Are there any other productivity hacks that you've acquired over the years? One big thing that people don't realize, I mean, I'm sure a lot of successful people do, but it's health and fitness. For sure, yeah. If, you, if you're not, if you don't have energy, mm. If you're not eating the right nutrition, you can only be productive as your energy allows you to be. Yeah. Just try to drive a beaten down car mm -hmm. that's running on absolute crap fuel yeah. versus brand new car running on premium. You can't get that much horsepower from that crap car. Mm -hmm. So it's the same analogy that I use for my personal training clients. You expect exceptional results and like this kind of like insane output. Yeah. But you don't have the vehicle, so you got to make that vehicle for yourself. <laughs> right. What do you guys think? Is productivity important to you? If you figure it out how to be more productive, what's something that you've cracked the code on yeah. that you can share with everybody else? Yeah, comment below your thoughts on hacks and tips that you could give. So what's driving you to be more productive? What has allowed you to be more productive? And is it important to you? Mm -hmm. This is such a big topic. We try to cover a lot of things at once. 
but um, well, we don't have it all figured out. We're still like learning as we go. Right, right. right. We're just sharing our growing pains with you guys, giving our two cents. Yeah. So it might be cringe like 10 years from now watching this. I think in like three years it's going to be cringe. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah, two years. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah. If it's cringe, let us know it's cringe. <laughs> Still give us that thumbs up. Help that algorithm. Just engage. Yeah. Just yeah. say we, you didn't like this video, comment yeah. below. If you did, also comment below. Or if you don't have anything to say, right? You watched till the end of the video. Oh, wait, really, you said that last time. You said that last really time. helps with the algorithm. That I think I think that did. So our next video, we're gonna do a Q and A. We're gonna try to discuss in this format, keep it real. Thanks for making it this far. Y'all already know you're the real MVP. Whoop <laughs> whoop. And we're out. Peace.